Tennis Magazine presents Instant Tennis with Dennis Vandermeer. Instant Tennis will help you introduce someone new to tennis. You don't have to be a professional to teach a newcomer the basics of the game. Dennis Vandermeer will show you the steps by teaching them to Kate, a beginner, and Rich, a more experienced player. Today I'm going to show Rich how he can practice with Kate and in a space of 30 or 40 minutes, she can go through all the progressions of how to play a forehand drive, how to play a forehand volley, how to play a backhand drive, how to play a lob, how to play an overhead smash, and how to serve. All these strokes in 30 or 40 minutes, and not just learn them, but to use them, actually use them on the court. Sure, we'll use them in a small area, but with this base, she can expand the area in the court and actually learn to play tennis. The first step for a beginner is to learn the rhythm of tennis. You can start by yourself if necessary. Kate, what I'm going to do is just show you a little bit the rhythm of tennis, which is bounce, hit, bounce, hit. Why don't you give it a try? And Richie, you can do the same thing. All right, keep going, keep going. Now, as you notice, Kate is holding a racket a bit like a frying pan. Now, that's very natural. Don't try to correct it. Don't say to Kate, Kate, this is the forehand grip. Try and do the forehand grip because you can see with the forehand grip, this will be very awkward. It's almost impossible to control the ball. The frying pan makes it a much easier grip for to control the ball because now the face racket is parallel to the ground and allows it to pop the ball up and control the ball. Continue learning the rhythm of tennis by sharing a ball with your partner. Now, instead of using two separate balls, how about this? You bounce one and then you share a ball. That's it, share a ball with each other. All right, now wait a minute, okay. So the tendency is to want to send the ball towards the partner. I'm gonna help you with that at the moment. Let's make this a target. This is your target. Come a bit closer and I'll just try to hit the target. A, a direct hit gives you a, a, a coke. Get closer, Kate, and ball straight up, straight up on the target. Let's go for a direct hit, come on. A direct hit, slow, on the target, yeah. Right on the target, that's it. And one or two more, and again. And now we can have a direct hit. <laughs> Beginners must learn to judge the distance needed between themselves and the ball. Now we're gonna add distance. Katie's gonna learn how to judge the ball when it's coming towards her and learn how to send the ball back. Now, uh, it's an easy introduction, but I'm gonna do it very slowly, but there, because there are a few critical things that happen now. At this stage, Katie's also gonna learn the distance from the ball, and she's also gonna learn a forehand grip without really knowing it. Watch the trick. Both of you, here's a target ball for you, Rich, and here's a target ball for you, Kate. Now, what I want you to do, Kate, is this. I want you to stand, not uh, over the ball, but to the side of the ball. Stand to the side of the ball like this. Rich, you do the same thing over there. Now the two of you walk forward and just press against each other's rackets. Do you notice what happens? As Kate starts to squeeze the racket to get more power, she shifts the grip to a forehand grip. And that's the best way to learn. She learned it by herself. Now, back up a little bit. Now, this is the grip you're gonna use. And now what you're gonna do, Kate, is you're gonna bump the ball on, on Rich's side. You're gonna bump the ball on Kate's side. Up in the air, go. Go for a dry racket. Bump it up softly, up. Move your feet very dry. Doesn't matter, try again, softly. Up towards his ball, target ball, softly. Move your feet. Yes, that direct hit, beautiful. Move to opposite sides of the net to begin to judge height as well as distance. Now, we're gonna add some height to the exercise. Kate, here's your target ball. Richie, put your target ball down. And now go do the kiss kiss thing again from side, that's it. So you angled properly to the ball, back up. And now, you're gonna try and eat each other's target ball. Lightly, go, that's it, yes. Try for a target, perfect. Move your feet, get out of the way. That's it. All right, that's terrific. Okay, let's take away the target balls now. Let's leave without the target balls. And now, the net's your only barrier. Again, the kiss kiss first, the kiss kiss. Remember, it's a very important part. Otherwise, you tend to stand opposite each other instead of rackets being opposite each other. Okay, go close together. Now, very lightly, go tap, tap. Easy little tap. Easy little tap, that's it. That's it, very good, Kate. That's okay, now start another ball on the ground. Move your feet. Remember, you want to always move away from the ball if it gets close to you. You don't want to bring your, bring, crunch your arm in. That's it, oh, a target shot. Oh, didn't intend it even. 
You've mastered the forehand. So here are the four easy steps to learn the forehand volley. All right. Now, Kate, lift your hand up and kiss, kiss the racket again. Very important tip. Remember, you don't want to stand opposite your partner, the hand and racket opposite each other. Okay, now, feed the ball, drop the ball on the ground. That's it, very good. One more time, drop it on the ground and try and touch it. All right, Kate, now the next exercise. Now you have a bigger hand, you see. Now there's no way to miss. Hold the racket like this, and now volley from here. There we go, and I'll keep it going. Yes. All right, now slide down, down a bit further. Okay, hold it right there, and bump it up, and bump it. Right, and now all the way down. Make five shots without mistake, go. Yes, yes, you can volley. Yes, beautiful. All right, stop, now Rich, you come to net. After one partner has finished the steps, change roles and repeat them. Remember the steps are, one, use your hand. Two, choke up on the racket at the throat. Three, hold the racket halfway down. And finally, hold the racket in the regular position to volley the ball. Next, Dennis will show you the four steps for learning the backhand volley. Now, Kate, let's do the backhand. Now look, on the backhand side, the same thing, except this time, what you're gonna do is, you can hit with your thumb. Now, if you had a long fingernail, I'd make you make a fist. Try and hit the ball with your thumb. Richie, line up the rackets quickly again. Let me see to the thumb so you don't hit in the face. Now, see if you can touch a thumb with your racket, let's go. All right, almost, one more time, lightly, Rich. Okay, you got it. If you miss, it doesn't matter because now I'm gonna give you a thumb 100 times bigger. Now the same exercise, let's see what happens this time. Beautiful. No way you can miss now. That's it. All right, Kate, now the next exercise is slide down, down halfway, halfway down. Perfect, and again. Okay, now slide your thumb down all the way. Thumb behind, one knuckle on top, the other knuckle's kind of slanted down like this, perfect. And now just block the ball back and forth. One, two, three, you've got it. And there you have the grip for a backhand volley and the stroke, and you can see there's nothing to it, you're just blocking the ball. Now it's your turn to feed the ball, and Rich, you're gonna go through the whole routine. Once again, switch roles so each partner can master the steps. One, use your thumb. Two, choke up on your racket at the throat and use it as a big thumb. Three, hold the racket halfway down. And to finish, hold the racket in the regular position. The backhand drive uses the same backhand grip and applies the lessons already learned in judging height and distance. Kate, good, you're becoming a fantastic practice partner, Kate. Okay, stop. Now, don't change anything. Just back up a few steps, lower your racket a little bit, and now the ball will bounce on your side and just bump it back. Kate, so you have to feed the ball the same way. Back up a little bit more, Rich. Now very softly, racket to racket. Okay, are you ready? And now bump the ball over the net, and you bump it back, Rich. And you bump it back. Yes, let it bounce. Okay, and switch out another ball. Doesn't matter if you miss it. Now we're gonna make five times. Here we go. One, two. Okay, comes another one. One, two, three, four, five. Look at it, don't take it back, just bump it. Six, terrific, you are rallying, you are rallying. Yes, okay, stop right there. Now, you do the same thing, Kate. Now you go, and you're gonna do the backhand. All right, come back over here. Put your thumb back behind this. All right, let's line up the rackets quickly again, just to be sure you've got the right distance. Come line up quickly, kiss, kiss, kiss the racket thing. There we go, now back up, Kate. And now the same thing, just bump the ball back, reach very softly, pop it to, to her back end, pop it back. That's it, there we go. And again, that's it, keep it, yes, yes, again, pop it. Yeah, okay, very good. Uh, you're getting too good, stop right there. The lob and the smash can be learned at the same time by the different level players. Okay, now you can hold the racket straight up in the sky with the edge pointing towards Rich. Now, Rich, line up your racket with, with hers. Kiss, kiss, right, no, but lower down, just the angle. Okay, back up it this way. That's it. Now, Rich, back up further. Now, where you're standing now, st your racket, instead of being on edge like this, turn it 45 degrees. Now, look what your job is now. Now, your job is to see, drop it on the ground and see if you can hit 
Kate's racket. See, now, the you know, you're going to play a lob. See if you can touch the ball with the edge of your racket. That's going to be something exciting. All right, that's very difficult. Almost impossible to do. So now watch, Kate. Instead of that, let's make it easier for you. Don't change your grip. This is the grip you chose to have. Now just turn your hand flat like this. And now, Rich, see if you can put it right on the racket. And you can move a little bit to get to the ball, OK? Try and touch it. Yes, and again. Another one. And touch it. OK, now, it's so strenuous holding your racket up in the sky. Have a rest. Just drop it behind your back. And now when the ball gets to you, then you go for it again. Just lightly touch it. Don't try to hit it. Just touch it. That's it. And again. And just a little touch. Perfect. And now this time, step forward on your left foot, right, turn a bit more sideways, right hand up in the sky, and now reach, you do the same thing. Here we go. And I'll find the ball. Okay, a bit higher the, the, the feet. There's a nice one. Perfect. One more. Here we go. And up in the sky. Another one, a bit too high. That's okay. And again. And perfect. One more. Dead center this time. Lightly, you got it. OK, now you do the same for each. Alternate the rolls so each player will practice both the lob and the smash. The four steps to learn the smash are, one, try hitting with the edge of the racket first. Two, turn the open face of the racket out to make contact with the ball. Three, drop the racket behind your back, then go up to meet the ball. And last, with the racket back, turn sideways with one foot forward. Extend your free arm up to point toward the ball, and then reach up to hit the ball. Now here's Dennis with a special reminder. Now it's a very important tip for everybody here, is this is a grip you chose to have, Rich. So this grip, keep this grip. And now, just turn your hand. If you remember this tip, you'll have a beautiful gri grip for the serve right away. To complete the basic shots, you only need to learn to serve. Back up a few steps. And Kate, you come a bit closer. And now, instead of uh, feeding each other, you feed yourself. Put your left foot in front, get on the white line here. Put the racket behind your head. And very lightly, you can back a bit more, Rich. And you're going to just touch the ball now. And then you'll serve back to it. Touch the ball. Yes. Now you can back up a trifle if you like. Reach behind your head. Back up a bit more, Kate. And now just touch it lightly. And now you send it back to, to Rich. You can stay where you were. OK, racket ready. Behind your head, just touch it. Yes, Kate, lightly, not so powerful. Racket behind your head. Just touch it. That's it, perfect. And now, do one more. Now you hit it back to her. Serve the ball, hit it back to her, and rally. Pump. Too hard, too hard. Slowly, slowly, just touch. Just touch her forehand. Another one, just touch another one. That's it, lightly, touch it back. And again, just touch it back. All right, run to net quickly, run to net, and kill it. All right, Kate, beautiful, that's terrific. And there you have it. A relatively inexperienced player, somebody who's played almost no tennis at all, now has a chance to become a tennis player. She has a practice partner who knows how to practice with her. And from now on, they work very close together on the court. From now on, they can go further, further back until they can play an all-court game. Not only can Kate tennis, but both Kate and Richard now have the skill to enable somebody else to learn to practice as well. So they can tremendously add to the number of future tennis players in the world and add greatly to their enjoyment. Instant Tennis with Dennis Vandermeer, a video guide to introduce the game of tennis, was brought to you by Tennis Magazine.